Hey YouTubes, it's your humble host, Masklitch UK. So, what's the rando picker got for us this time? Oh, what the f... F in hell is this? Ah, it's an offshoot game from the Evil Dead series of games. So, let's try the tutorial and see if I can get a clue about what the heck this game is about. Well, it looks like a stylized shooter where you play like a clone, like stupid sucker of a grunt, sent in to clean up the Umbrella Corpse little oopsies in the old zombie outbreak sort of vein. Well, you're sent off to do various missions, to complete, to get equipment or information back, while having limited bullets, because I suppose they're an evil corporation and you're an expendable grunt. Ho hum, ho oh hum. Well, you have the usual weapon subgroups like handguns, submachine guns, shotguns, and the like. Oh, and what's this? You have a special weapon after a little bit. Sort of like an ice axe like thingy that can get red hot, apparently. Just a thing to smash into a zombie's cranium. Oh, goody. Well, most of them zombies can regenerate. Hmm. Don't remember that in the games. So best knock them down quick and get the equipment, guns, to do your mission and get out quick. Now, here's my first problem with the game. I hate these fast paced, gotta run, gotta do this, gotta do this, blah, 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 blah. fast frenetic gameplay. It's not for me. I like to work out my roots, work out how I'm going to get there, what I'm going to do and not run around like a headless chicken blasting everything in the hopes to find the item, get the hell out before I'm overwhelmed by the zombies or the dogs or the other various monsters and nasties out to kill you. This is not my jam. Ok well we'll give it a whirl. Well you do have grenades I guess to aid you you got a nice little mini map on the screen all the time to give you an idea of your little surroundings and a bigger map screen and sort of a, uh, what you're carrying and other little stand of choices in the background for you to use. Most of your choices are made via a circular sort of ideas wheel, I suppose you can call it. Run round and select what you want and then you're off so you select your weapon or select what you want to do your notes that sort of thing there is a sort of like mini stealth sort of section like cover base system but as soon as you're spotted by the zombies they just all flock towards you and all bets are off it's all just converge on you and overwhelm your time so the whole idea is shoot them in the cranium as fast as possible rinse repeat so most missions you'll set a simple objective like blast so many zombies, get certain infected DNA samples from infected bodies before they all return from a dead in that munch on you. They all seem to regenerate as I say after a few seconds of like sort of collapsing into his goop which I never remember and this is the second problem I have with the game. If you're going to introduce a new mechanic which has never been used in any of the games again, explain why they're randomly regenerated and why it's never happened before. Because this is really annoying. Well, you can also decide after a while what equipment you're going to take into the match mission. Yes, you can also play against your friends, frenemies online in a battle or against the AI in an NPC sort of style. While you're set up to do X in a mission. Oh, I also forgot. You also have like a defend option missions. Where you have to defend like a circular area. And keep the zombies out in a set amount of time. Before you're munched on. Yeah, as I say, get a circle to keep free from the affected. There is a variety of missions. But they all seem very similar. And this is my last and third problem I have with the game. It's all too samey. You do have verticality in the use of like ladders and 
just lifts. But it's again all very. This has been done a hundred times better and cooler, in my opinion. Yes, there are crawl spaces, tunnels, mostly with extra ammo, weapons, and other goodies, so it's always a good idea to look through because this helps you a great deal. Oh, big warning I should have said from the beginning if you don't like blood and guts and a shitload of zombies attacking you all the time, don't play this game, it gives your kids nightmares for a week. So let's score it and I will try to explain why, as I say, is this something about this game? It's too much of a simplistic shooter on rails for me, with boring weapons, not enough ammo for no good reason, the zombie regeneration thing again not explained, plus again, as it being an older game, virtually nobody's playing it anyway. Graphics, I've ordered a 5, because the graphics are okay, but a little too dated now. Sound, again, I've got a 5, the sound is nice, the sound design is okay, spot sound effects are, mm, yeah, usable, music's very pleasant, and you've got some voice work, but not much, mostly it's mainly, and the equivalent of that from the zombies. Playability, I've given a 4, because, as I say, it's just something completely off about the game. I could never quite put my finger on it, and even thinking about it again now, it's just something wrong about it, so that's why I reward it halfway house. Cool. Unfortunately, I can only give it a 4. Yes, it is a great umbrella uh, sort of corporation game. Yes, it's set in the Evil Dead thing, but... Put your money elsewhere in the Evil Dead franchise, just not this game. Lasting, I've awarded it a 4. At most, you're going to play it through once, go near, and never play it again. So, that gives us a grand score of 22, which is a game score of a mediocre C. Like I say, if you're really into the series and, want, and get it cheap to sort of for completion value, yeah, get it. Otherwise, I think there's a lot better choices of shooter out there. Heck, buy PUBG and you'll be happy. Well, as I say, next week I'm going to do something a bit different. If I can get enough footage together. We're going to do a division video. Show you maybe how to get six survival caches run with a hopefully good score. Talk about the upcoming 1.8. Maybe a bit about gamesmanship, cheaters, and general state of the game and stuff like that. If that's your jam, please, you know, sign in and watch it next week. That'll hopefully go up next Saturday. So, it's time for me, your humble host, Master UK, until next Saturday to sign off. I will leave you with some of my truly awful gameplay for you to <laughs> enjoy. Until then... Goodbye.
mine.
transmission point. Objective complete. 